It is Wednesday, February 24th. I'm Alicia Smith. Detroit police are searching for a suspect who fled a deadly hit and run. It happened last night on the Cousins Freeway just south of 8 Mile on Detroit's west side. No word of a possible vehicle or suspect, nor have police released any information regarding the victim. If you know anything about this case, you're asked to contact Crime Stoppers at 1-800-SPEAK-UP. The Macomb County Health Department is introducing a new vaccine distribution site. It will be located at the Sterling Heights Senior Center. Macomb County residents 60 and older will be able to schedule an appointment to receive the COVID-19 vaccine. This is just an example of the effort to vaccinate some of Michigan's most vulnerable as the state tries to keep up with the demand and doses and increase the vaccine accessibility. Well, some Metro Detroiters with overdue tickets can now pay them off without penalty. This is happening at the Ferndale, Madison Heights and Hazel Park divisions of 43rd District Court. The court's amnesty period runs from March 1st through April 9th. Chief Judge there says in many of these cases, the delinquencies have gone on long enough that bench warrants would be issued. Residents must contact the court for details. Breezy and mild again today with highs in the mid 40s. More clouds roll in later today and then tonight temperatures drop below freezing after midnight and it's going to drop all the way to the lower 20s tomorrow morning. So any wet surfaces from melting snow may refreeze tonight. Highs in the uh, mid 30s Thursday and Friday, but we'll see lots of sun. More clouds with rain Saturday morning in the mid 40s this weekend, dropping back to highs in the 30s Monday and Tuesday.